Question number four. A student has 500 identical rectangular sheets of paper. The mass of one meter cube of the paper is 0 0.08 kilograms. Using a meter rule, she measures the length of one sheet of paper and its width. The length is 0 0.300 meters and the width is 0 0.210 meters. Calculate the mass of one sheet of paper. So, let's start off by typing of the quantities that we have regarding the paper. We have a length of 0 0.3 meters, a width of 0 0.210 meters. Thus, we can find the, figure out the, calculate the area, length times width which is 0 0.3 times 0 0.210 let's put that in the calculator and we will get a 0 0.063 meters cubed so now we can do a quick cross multiplication if one meter cube of paper is 0 0.08 kilograms then what will the 0 0.063 meter cube of paper give so basically we can directly just multiply both of them So to get an answer of let's multiply both of them zero point zero six three times zero point zero eight zero six three to get an answer of zero point zero zero five zero four and I can uh, kilograms. I can just directly write this value as it's or it already has two significant words or I can convert it to grams by uh, multiplying by a thousand to get a 5.004 grams as the mass so two, two. let's go to the next one the student makes a single pile of the 500 sheets of paper with a meter rule she measures the height of the pile the height of the pile is 0 0.048 meters calculate the density of the paper so of course we are going to start off by writing the formula of density density equals mass divided by volume and in this case we already have the mass we just need to figure out the volume and a volume equals length times width times height in this case since it's a rectangular paper so we already have the height but we have the height of the whole pile we just need the height of one paper so I'm gonna divide the total height by the number of sheets of paper as in 0 0.048 meters divided by 500 sheets of paper which will get me or will give me a 0 0.0.0000 for zeros 96 meters for the height. Now I'm going to calculate the volume of the whole paper by going upwards and getting these taking these values of the length and width and multiply the whole thing together. So 0 0.3 times 0 0.21 times just the value we got the value we just got right now. And we will get a value of 0.0.
zero point zero 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 five zero six zero four eight meters meter cubed uh, since it's volume and now we can just rearrange in this case I'm going to be using the original one the kilogram for the mass and I'm going to divide I'm going to take this value below and place the 0 0.00504 above so I could divide to get an answer of a direct answer of 833.333 and that's it kilograms per meter cubed I can also write this answer as 8.3 times 10 raised to kilograms per meter cubed done okay moving on to section b a, stu a second student has only five sheets of the same type of paper so just how this student determines the density of the paper to a similar accuracy additional apparatus may be used since we want to narrow down the differences in the accuracy as much as possible instead of a meter rule i can use a micrometer screw or screw gauge a micrometer gauge and as for the mass since density equals mass divided by volume i can use a balance or scale a normal scale and then use the micrometer as it's more accurate than a meter rule and the balance for the mass.